Welcome back to Bougie Bravo Bitches, where we talk all that Bravo tea from basic to bougie. We're your hosts. I'm Jenna. I'm Darcy. And I'm Amanda. Let's get into it, bitch. And that sweet little sound in the background is the pitter-patter of my dogs. Sorry. And my daughter. <laughs> this is real life, people. You guys, before we get started, I have a very important announcement. We have a very important announcement to make. Our very own sweet little Darcy, her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll be today by the time you hear this. So happy birthday, our sweet little Darcy Angel. Thanks, girls. Your what face was like, what is she going to say? I was like, what is Amanda, that? we're I both just it. like, where the <laughs> fuck is this going? She's <laughs> derailed already. She's already gone. <laughs> Two seconds. Edit, edit, edit. Like, what? Oh, don't edit that out, you little angel. Happy Never. birthday to you. Gals. What an exciting hey. day. The day you were born. Mm. The greatest day of one of our lives. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, hi, what's up, pals? Glad to be Friday. I know. I just love when we record because I'm like, what a great way to almost go into the weekend. Friday just mm-hmm. feels like a nothing day. If I could give it like no energy, I probably would. I'd give it about I a ten percent or a Friday is literally like my favorite day of the week. I know because like work is kind of calm. I come home, I don't have to make lunches, like I usually order dinner. It's like the kids can do whatever they want. They don't have homework. A Friday, I love a Friday. I can have a drink. I can relax. I love a Friday. is my favorite day of the week. I like a Friday too because I come home earlier. I don't mm. see any clients after work. Joe still doesn't come home till late, so I get like four hours of uninterrupted television time to myself. <laughs> Usually, now that I'm pregnant, every single Friday, I get us some kind of like special treat for the weekend, like crumble cookies. Ooh. I know. <laughs> have you had a crumble it? cookie? Mm-mm. I'm addicted. Do you know I like never cared for sweets at all until I got pregnant and now every day it's like oh. it's a struggle to not turn into Dunkin' Donuts for a donut. Do and I, I, I lost crave. today. <laughs> I used to crave coleslaw when I was pregnant. Really? Like, all three of my kids coleslaw. Like, Interesting. Yeah. Fiend it. Yeah. I guess this is a craving. I don't know because I never really cared for sweets. Yeah. But it's like don't give me sugar. I'm like I need more. I need more. I need more. <laughs> Jones in. I'm just gonna say a Dunkin' Donut, a Dunkin' Donut brownie batter donut, ten out of ten. Would recommend. It's delicious. All right, so none of that was about Bravo, but we'll get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, big news this week: Candy at the Grammys announced that she is leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sayonara. What do they say to the kids? Bye, Felicia. Bye, Wig. <laughs> No, they don't say that anymore. And I just want to say this. My sister told me that Chugi is very, like, 1.5 years ago. It's, we're not even current. Okay. Okay. I don't know who we is. That's all Amanda. I know. That's a man, That's not a we thing. I told, I was talking to her about it. She's like our – she's – I love her. God bless her. She's like our first listener every single week. And she goes – the kids don't really say chuggy anymore. That's like you a know, year and a half ago. <laughs> I like, I'm going to keep saying it now. Say it all you want. Say it all you want. You're just going to sound yeah. like another old Karen. Well, you just keep those long almonds. I sure will. How do you like them, baby? How do you like them? You're not getting me to get squovel nails. Get out of here. Gross. Short squovels. What is wrong with you kids? What do you have to do? Activities that you need your fucking nails to be short? I fucking sound oh like an God. old lady. Wait till May when she has the baby and she's like, shit, guys. I I'm going to have to get squovels. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to cave and get squovels. And I'll be like totally on trend, but yeah, it'll only be because go. I'm having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. Well, so anyways, Candy's in Atlanta. I don't think we're surprised. She like has – and she pretty much said like I'm surprised they've kept me because I've just been like phoning it in for the most yeah. part. Yeah. I thought it was really touching that Andy like put a tribute because usually like people leave and he doesn't say stuff like that. But I I felt like it was she's going to be welcome back anytime she wants to come back. And she was very she's smart. She's a smart woman. She left before she was asked to leave. Mm-hmm. I think Which she did the writing was on the wall. Yeah. I agree. Um, and so now there is all kinds of talk that Kenya and Portia will be returning Peaches next season. I mean, Kenya I'm returning not, like, from the season prior, obviously. There's been so much speculation from, like, Twitter accounts, Instagram accounts, like, all these people. None of it's been verified, and it's all, no. like, conflicting. So I'm like, I'm just gonna chill. I only ever really repost Queens of Bravo because they yeah. seem to get things 
before other people, like reunion looks and trailers and stuff like that. They always post them like five minutes before Bravo does. However, I know there's a lot of like controversy on where they get their stuff from and how much stuff they like steal from other people. But I don't know. I just feel like everything that they post usually comes to life. So we'll see. I could see Portia coming back. I, su- I think the door should just be open for Nini. If they brought Nini back, the, the I, Atlanta would be saved. Yeah. You, and he I said it be. at BravoCon that, like, the door is always open. If they could bring Nini and Kim back. I know people don't like Kim. She's a racist, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean. Blah, I don't think they'd blah. bring Kim back. Yeah. The blah, blah, blah is kind of important. <laughs> <laughs> the blah, blah, blah of it all is kind of the reason they can't. Was that an ellipsis? <laughs> Stop using Stop so many time. ellipses. <laughs> oh god! All right, all right. Speaking of, I mean, I'm just saying. Wait, it was I, good. I, I don't even feel like I was really trolling Anne Marie today, but when I, I posted the video of you her did. tossing her little lay into the ocean, and I said Anne Marie letting go of Sutton's esophagus, and she sent us a thumbs down. I'm like. <laughs> Bitch, grow thicker skin. Seriously, grow thicker skin, she didn't bitch. Think we were funny. And this is not I the worst thing I've hilarious. ever said about you or tagged you in, even. So, like, grow thicker skin. It's the esophagus. Was... She's obsessed with the esophagus. Obsessed. Anything to do with it. If she's not it's a one-hit wonder, I can't watch anymore. Honestly, so gross. Um, other news: Trader was renewed for season three. Very smart. I love it. Is it season three, though? I feel like there's so many seasons, but it's like season three of whatever it's they're doing now. Season three of the United States. They had like Traders UK, Traders Australia. Got it. It's season three, Traders US. Got it. Well, I feel like it's no surprise. People love Traders. I love Traders. Mm-hmm. Alan Cummings is going to be on Watch What Happens Live tonight. That little laugh. Can't wait. I know. It's going to be great. Who would um, be your dream person to cast on Traders on for Traders? the new season? I feel like Lala would be a good trader. Oh. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. That was, you put me on the spot. You put me on the yeah. spot. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Heavenly. I'd love to see Lindsay Hubbard. Oh, She was yeah. supposed to be on this podcast. I heard that I too. She was. I heard that too. I think she'd yeah. be good. I do too. I think she'd be a little bit unhinged. she's so off the rocker. Kate, you, exactly. Yeah. Like Kate, like. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people that I'd like to see, like, return from the dead of Bravo to be on mm-hmm. Traders, you know? Like, shows that are, like, not on anymore. Or, like, cast members that were, like, like Carlton Jabia. She would be a great trader, that little witch. <laughs> Anywho. Luann. Luann would be funny. <laughs> she, would, mm. she would be funny. I don't know how good of a trader she would be, though. You have to be good at playing games. Sonia would actually probably be good. She'd be like so gullible. Yeah, Sonia would be good stuff. Lots to think about. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Erica Jane's documentary "Bet It All on Blonde" it was announced that it'll be premiering on March sixth. It's a two-hour documentary. Does that mean they're putting it all on one night, or is yeah. it like two parts? Maybe two parts. It just said premiering three six. So I don't know what that means. I, I feel like if Bravo it's just one night, two-parter. is it at eight o'clock? Mm, I don't know. It didn't say. Oh, okay. But I feel like if you are, if it's just a one-time thing, then you say airing, not premiering. Premiering usually means there's more than one episode. I feel like, and that's a Wednesday night. Yeah, because it's after Beverly Hills will be over. Okay. I think it'll take. The, I think it'll take the the week place of when Beverly Hills airs between whatever's coming next. Which we don't really know what that is yet. Mm-mm. Anywho, Crystal celebrated her 41st birthday this past week and was star-studded. Lots of housewives. Kathy Hilton was there. Aaron from Roni was there. Heather Dubrow and Cynthia Bailey were also present. It feels like she is more fun not on the show than she is on the show. Like, where's that energy? It's just the editor, like, they're just editing out anything. Well, I've that heard that they edited about her. I heard they edited her down a lot. So, but like, what is the like, what good does it do them to make her look boring? <laughs> like, it doesn't do them any good. She just must be boring. Maybe they just edited out even more of the boring. I mean, do you remember how boring her party was? They were talking about the fucking jukebox for 
three minutes. Oh, the one where they like went to their new basement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The the murder she wrote party. Oh my god, that was the worst. That was so bad. She did throw the good Chinese New Year party. That was good. Mm-hmm. That was like the end of the cat, the end of the season party one year. I don't know. She, but yeah, it looked like a fun time, and I'm just like, why are you not fun? on the show and apparently she does have a lot of friends and she is very social and she does have like a lot of cross franchise friends and like other celebrity friends so like bring them around bitch (laughs) you're boring me you're boring me taco tuesday anywho (laughs) just before we came on or maybe a couple hours ago the real housewives of miami reunion looks were released and i have to say Seeing a cast stick to an actual theme for reunion looks is very refreshing. They all went together. Mm-hmm. They all look like they came out of Marisol's closet. They <laughs> do. The thing is, like, a Mexican telenovela, apparently, was, like, the theme. They they, I actually them. thought they all looked fantastic. I didn't think there were, except for Julia. I didn't think any of them were bad. I was going to say, Julia's was pretty rough. Julia's was love- awful. I love it's leopard print, but it just weird. wasn't done well. Well, the cape, like, didn't go... I like... A, and I don't mind... I'm not into pants at reunions, but if you do it right, I guess it can be good. I'll say Alexia last year, no one really liked hers. I wasn't a fan either, but she looked beautiful. Hers was pretty simple. She looks amazing. Gertie looked great. Kiki, top notch. I liked the headpieces. Lisa's was kind mm-hmm. of, like... It was, what? like, swallowing her, because I feel like there was too much, like, rouging and stuff, but... This cape that Julia is wearing, it's hideous. She has leopard pants, like a corset, and some kind of animal print floral capey thingy. No. Not for me. Dr. Nicole, beautiful. She's wearing red velvet, and her baby bump looks so cute. I thought that the headpiece that Adriana had was top-notch. It was, like, all made out of roses, very, like, flamenco dancery. I think Marisol with hair down, she's so beautiful. I don't know why she always puts her hair up. She looks way younger with it down. And honestly, I I thought Larsa's was the best. I know some people didn't like it. I thought it was one of the best. I didn't like it. I did not like it. I thought it was one of the best. I feel like the crown, the roses, it looks beautiful. For the theme, not to like just wear on a night out to dinner, but for the theme, I thought it looked beautiful. I thought it was kind of like what Adriana was trying to go for. Larsa nailed. And and Adriana only got it like maybe 80%. Regardless, it is very refreshing to see them stick to a theme. And they were better than their last. Someone posted like, I think it was maybe Queens of Bravo, their like other account posted like all three of the the last three reunion looks. And I thought this was the best. So They look good. I'm looking at Larsa's and uh, now. I like it. I'm into it. Also, I, like the I think it's like her boobs are really weird. I was like last night I was looking her boobs. Her boob job is not done well. I think that's probably part of my problem. There's a lot, um, a lot of work that's done there, and it just can't all be perfect, you know. They just look like hard. They don't Maybe. look good. They're not. Just they're not good. Boobies. They're not. They're not a good fake boob. Well, so. let's not judge her outfit by her boobs. <laughs> Let's not judge an outfit by a titty, okay? <laughs> oh God, we'll get into a little more Miami later. Um, I did. I was actually noticing that Alexis Polina wasn't posting a lot of her and Johnny J anymore, but today she came out with a post like, "We're still growing strong. Love you, Johnny J. Gonna go to the gym now." And she was like, kissing him in her like. You know how you can tell someone is, like, not the age that their Botox pretends they are when you look at their hands? She has those hands. hands. The hands and, like, your neck. And Melissa chest. Gorga's knees. Yeah. Do not disgusting. lie. Yeah. Do not lie. You And I feel like you can Botox those places, so you should. Botox those hands. Botox those knees. You can Botox. I think you can do laser treatments on your hand. Well, you should. But. Because if your hands don't match your face... Wear sunscreen is the moral of the Wear gloves wear and I pants. Was just, I was just at the dermatologist on Monday, and I'm like, all right, let's set up my Botox appointment for July. So thank you. There you go. There you go. Not, I don't know if I'm ready yet. Maybe. I yeah. am. I got fucking, I hate it. When I put makeup on, I feel like it's just so bad. When I, I scrunch it. my face, I have those number 11s. If I do it hard. You see that? Yeah, I'm not there yet, but I'm going to get there. Don't, and I'm, I have no shame. I'm ready to go. I think I might do a little filler. 
when I'm in my lips when I'm done. Yeah, I am going to get a lip clip. I was talking to her about it. She's like, we'll start with a lip clip. And then if you like that, then we can do filler in your lips. Good so. for you. Get it going, mommy makeover. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love that for you. I can't, when I'm done, when I'm done popping kids out all together, this whole body's getting fucking reconstructed. <laughs> You're never going to recognize me. I'm going to look like Larsa when I'm done and I have no shame. My Dang, face will be the I'm same gonna... though. People are like, oh, Ozempic. I can't believe that. Bitch, I'll go on Ozempic tomorrow if I wasn't nursing. But alas. <laughs> Maybe alas. hold off on that. There's been a lot of Ozempic related <laughs> deaths lately. Maybe hold ellipsis. off. Ellipsis. 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 I can't be stopped. <laughs> Wait, did we talk about that on the pod or just in real Yeah, no, we did. Week, we though. did. Last week we told everybody <laughs> I, I got died. trolled. Ellipsis. I got ellipsis, trolled. Ellipsis. 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 Fucking Chill on the ellipses. Leave me alone. Chuggy. <laughs> um, somewhere along the road last week, there was an announcement that Summer House Martha's Vineyard is coming soon. <laughs> so I don't know when soon is, but. Very informative. It's coming soon. <laughs> so maybe during the Summer House season. kind of. I think that's how it started last time, right? It was during Summer House? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which would make sense. Coming soon. Have um, they officially announced when Dubai is going to air? No, Whoa. they haven't said anything about Dubai. I'm Which annoyed is weird by that. because they have yeah. a premiere. That's like so weird. I just wonder if like it's because there's like different kinds of like production hurdles because it's in another country or something. No. Like why is it taking so long? It was filmed so long ago at this point. It's two it's like years outdated. ago. I'm going to do some Google Reddit yeah. searches this week. Get tomorrow. on that. Get some I'll research you know. in. I will. Research if you need any search tips, you just let me know, babe. <laughs> you little the search a, the little search engine that could, <laughs> Darcy. <laughs> um, okay. I know that I had said that on Watch What Happens Live, Luann and Joe Bradley were like apparently very flirty. And I watched it and they weren't. So it wasn't on Watch What Happens Live. Apparently they hung out afterwards and some are calling it a date that they went on. And this is why things are like not going forward with him and Danielle. And the weird thing is, is Danielle was at Watch What Happens Live where they like talked about how they were dating that episode. I love Luann for that. I do too. Sonia and Harry fucking Durbin. I love it. She's a man eater. I love it. Love it. She will take your man, so lock him up. Um, in more of the same news, Ariana is refusing Tom, <laughs> refusing to let Tom buy their house, and so they're still living in the same house. I'm, I'm like over it. Honestly, for my own mental health, I'd be like, whatever, just give me whatever you want to give me. I'm done here. But I get she, her point. Okay, so here's my thing: if he's offering her a fair and a reasonable amount, and she's just being petty, I mean, kind of obnoxious because you don't want to buy him out. But if he's giving her like bullshit offers then i get it i would be like no i'm well, not taking your low ball offer you we can sell the house it's not hard to get a house appraised so like just appraise the house and then you can decide what it's worth but i think that whoever has more equity also like that's like a part of it too i'm sure there are a lot of factors that go into it but it just seems like she is not going to stop until they both agree to sell the house together yeah, i agree and it's kind mm-hmm. of like annoying i'm over it just like move on with your life. It's just like weird at this point. It's like not good for either either one of their mental healths. That's all I have to say about that. Tom has a new girlfriend. Have you guys seen her? She's actually really mm-hmm. pretty. Victoria she used, Lee to out with, she used to hang out with Lou, Leonardo DiCaprio until she aged out. That's oh. what the internet says. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what age is that? Do you age out of that? I think. Honestly, 17? 18? Now, um, I think it was 23. Like 25, 23, yeah. 25. There, it was like, if you guys ever read the Daily Mail, they like trolled him so hard last summer. So that's, well, that's funny. It's like a sliding scale between 23 yeah. to 25. Yeah. Well, I think um, Gigi Hadid was like the oldest girl that he like hung out with. I die. Does that mean this girl probably dated that bachelor, Tyler Cameron, too, that everyone dates? Is that his name? Tyler Cameron? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. I'm not All those people date The Bachelor too. Like after they're done with like Leo, <laughs> they date The Bachelor. <laughs> Tyler Kim. Yeah, DJ Hardy did. That's oh, true. okay. Um. Yeah. So they looked. They looked in love. I saw a story that he posted. They looked very in love. Good for them. He deserves nothing, but <laughs> good for them. <laughs> 
A um, little bit of Kim and Croy news p- sparking back up. Amanda, you want to take that um, one? It's just that Kim is saying Croy is leaking stuff to the news about their divorce. But I just feel like it's Kim, honestly. So well, that's really all there is. Croy says it is Kim, too, and he has nothing yeah. to hide. Yeah. So yeah. there you have it. I'm just yeah. it's, Now they're saying, like, they're referring to her as, like, his estranged wife again. I'm like, oh God. they're I at Hibachi, like, two weeks ago. In the same house. I it's need to weird. know what's happening with the house. Speaking of, I mean, come on. When are we going to get a new court date on the calendar? I don't know. People? I'm going to have to look into that. I'll, I'll that Add and, it to uh, your list for tomorrow. <laughs> to my list of research. Get some research needed. done. Dubai and Kim and Croy. I know. I got to get off fucking TikTok. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. TikTok, so chuggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, All right. Let's talk about Traders. The best episode I've ever seen. I know that you guys saw it like hours before me, and I feel like you were just waiting for me to see it so we mm-hmm. could talk about it. That was so, so patiently. Good. It was a masterpiece. Do an not. An absolute masterpiece. Do not fucking come for Miss Parks. That is all I have to say. Phaedra Parks, Esquire. Do not come for her. Everyone was like, oh, she's not a good gamer. Um, Hello. She has had a million different jobs. She's way more intelligent than anyone there, probably. Mm -hmm. And she will eat you alive, okay? Ask Kenya. She is the best. She is, like, probably the only person on reality television who's been on for this long. And we know nothing really about her at all. (laughs) Yep. You only know what she wants you to know. Like, she's very good at that. Yeah. Well, she's so nice. She's so nice. I mean, at least to me, she was. She was famous. really nice. She's very nice. She was really nice, wasn't she? You did she buy was. a t-shirt, though. I did. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's part of her mm-hmm. tactic. So we started the episode out with the traders trying to murder Bergy, but it gets blocked because he had the shield, which helps to prove Pilot Pete's theory <laughs> that it's Danner Pavard- Pavardi, Pavardi, Poverty, whatever her name Poverty. is. Poverty. Headband. But... What I don't understand is, like, why... I mean, Pilot Pete was right, but I feel like the theory was not even there. Like, there's so many other people it could still be, but he was right in the end. He must have had more two of them. reason to think that, but mm-hmm. just, like, it didn't... Like, he, he was, like, the hero of the game, like, the savior. Oh, my God. He was like, we did it. We did it. We got him. We got him. We got him. High five. Fist bump. We, we got did him. it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Like, buddy, oh. relax. You ain't did anything yet. So, you haven't won think, anything. Who do you think they're going to vote out tonight? Well, oh, I don't know who they're going to vote out, but we need to find out. Let's get there. But we need to find out if Pilot Pete accepts their offer to be a traitor. Oh, he definitely is. He has no other it's choice. It's in his best yeah. interest, honestly, yeah. to do that. But The game is built for the pr- traitors to win. So. Can I just say one thing about watching them crossing the river or two things? One, (laughs) watching my favorite postal worker like drown, (laughs) dying, and then watching Kevin try to drown Trishel so she didn't get the shield. (laughs) I was like dying. (laughs) I was dying. CT helping Phaedra was so cute, though. I feel like they would be such a cute couple. I've seen, like, memes going around, like, this reminds me of the movie The Bodyguard. She called called him, she called him her castle daddy. I love it. And I think, I I feel like he's divorced. Yeah, you know what, they should hook up. They should get together. I remember watching his wedding special, where, like, all the challenge cast members went to it. It's like, wait, I think her name was Louisa. They live in Miami. He has a really cute son, but I think they're divorced. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe not. Amanda, yeah. add it to your list of research. Add it to my list of research. I love that. Do you know, we watch The Challenge every night. We watched it last night. We're obsessed with it. Obsessed. Is he on it this season? So this season is for losers. This is the season oh, okay. for people that have never won a challenge come to tr- – it's like the first time they might finally win. And they – to be the best, you have to beat the best, as TJ Lavin says. So – CT comes back to like it basically all like the people that are like challenge champs come back to do an elimination round with someone and like if the challenge champ wins they get 10 grand and if the loser wins then they get to keep their money basically <laughs> their prize pot money so yeah that's that anywho one thing I will say about it is that last night whenever it aired Michelle from Survivor got kicked off and I fucking hate her so I was so happy that's a different podcast Challenge Mania podcast. If you guys don't listen to it, it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Anywho, um, Sheree won the shield. Sheree's doing nothing this season. She's like not do even you, talking. What is going do you on? Think she understands the rules of the no. game. No, she about. has no she idea what's is. going on. She just like latches she's, onto what other people says and like rephrases it. I mean, when she voted for John, she's like, I don't have a vote. I'm just going to vote for John. (laughs) She like, if she had to go first, I don't know what would happen. Like, I feel like they're they're intentionally not letting her vote first because I don't know what she would say. She has no idea what game she's on. She's like, I think I'm just in Scotland for fun. Imagine if she makes it to the end. Like, maybe that's the key. Just play dumb and keep your mouth shut. So let's talk about the round table, the infamous round table. Dan tries to come for Phaedra. His reasonings were fucking stupid. Okay. So we have problematic for you. (laughs) Breakfast table reactions. (laughs) Voted for unsuspecting people with no reasoning. Like what? That's the game. I told you why I voted for Ekinzu because she was freaking coming for whoever. So she had a reasoning. I know. I'm like, why did, if you, you wanted a reason, maybe when everyone was like crying over someone being voted out and she was asking for boiled eggs, that would have been a good reason. <laughs> that would have been the one. Man, just completely outsmarted. And just like her delivery of like, she goes, I do too much because you do too little. It so now nice. that he pinned it on Phaedra, I hope the faithfuls are smart enough to realize that he was giving them another traitor like Trishel got it so yeah if these guys don't get it I mean I can't help them they're not they smart themselves. I know they definitely they know won. that it's poverty headband yeah. because pilot Pete says so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so like recruiting him I think is definitely going to work to their advantage because if he says it's not her anymore then she's probably going to stick around but I don't know we're going to have to see what happens tonight I'm excited it's past my bedtime I'll watch it tomorrow so many possibilities. I know. It's so good. It's so good. Um, Southern House. Southern House. Southern Hospitality. <laughs> Southern House. I like that. That could be a new spinoff. Southern House. In Southern Hospitality News, they are still in Miami. Um, everyone seems to hate Maddie, but they watch her go DJ anyways. And yeah, I don't know. It's not doing it for me, but I will say there was... A few below deck sightings. Um, Oriana, who was on below deck adventure, and Katie, who was, I think she was on regular below deck. I think that, you know, Ben the Stew Slayer, who's on the new below deck. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he was hooking up with Camille, then Camille got fired, then he started hooking up with Katie, I think is how it went. That's where she was from. She was a deckhand. But, anyways, they were there on the mini yacht serving drinks. So good for them. I like a little crossover moment, as we know. Um, Emmy was trying to make amends with Maddie, but I didn't like. I didn't really quite understand what was going on. Honestly, like the drama. I don't think not a backstory. Understood. It didn't make sense, but in the end, everyone's mad at Joe Bradley because he's the one that like told her what she was saying. I don't know. I mean, and then the Trevor group chat up. is like kind of sacred, so like to just show somebody the group chat, like that's. that's... Sometimes I'm afraid to write things in our group chat because I don't think we would ever see them. Going right to jail, (laughs) straight to hell, straight to jail. Like if I talk about my husband, I'm like, "Ooh, I better like keep typing and (laughs) if it scroll up about 200 messages." (laughs) Which happens in like two minutes. I'll like be in a meeting and come back, and it's like 75 (laughs) message notifications. I'm like, "What are these girls doing?" I know. Uh, Just texting about nothing. Just living, you know, yeah, not just not working. It. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think, I hope it's over soon. Honestly, it's like, I'm not really into <laughs> Southern hospitality, but I'll keep watching it. They're having a 10 years of Republic party tonight. Can't wait. I'm all set. I'm all yeah. set. <laughs> yeah. I honestly was like very shocked it got renewed for a second season. I don't, I just think it's like Vanderpump rules, but it's like, 10 years too late and the people that are watching are not into this stuff anymore i don't know the crappens guys love it they do love it they're pretty good about championing and championing everything though i'm not they don't i'm, like I'm judging than that are we haters yeah oh, i am i'm fine with that 100 i'm fine with that it's fine <laughs> It's a podcast, not a democracy. You can't love everyone. (laughs) You can't love everyone. No. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. Anyways, 
I did think this past week that Potomac kind of got back to its roots a little bit. It was. It was a better better. episode. Shady, conflict. I liked it. And it was definitely... Yeah. Let me say, if you invite me to a weed party with no weed, I'm walking Ugh. out the door. I'm wa- I'm a fashion I'm show out. without fashion. I'm not staying. Don't Rolling spices. So weird. I, I'm yeah. I'm over Zen Wen. I honestly and also like Happy Eddie. Like I get it. You wanted to take this thing and like turn it into a brand, but I'm kind of over that too. Like, do you even have a real job? I'm over it. You're He's the lawyer. You're the lawyer that sells weed. I don't understand the drug dealer lawyer. <laughs> I guess that's a common these days. But. <laughs> oh I'm over God. Happy Eddie and I'm over Zen Wen. And I really hope that she doesn't get... If they don't shake up this cast, they're fucked. But I know that yeah. like some of their producers... One person was let go and or left on his own accord already. So hopefully that helps. But You need some changes. Yeah. Anyways, we start off with Mia versus Karen. <laughs> which mm-hmm. is... <laughs> Karen plays tricks. Honey, you are the trick. It was good. It was good. They're like, I like when they're very quick like that. With their yeah. mm-hmm. wittiness. But I don't blame Mia. Like, I don't want to be a second string invade either. Fuck you, I'm busy. Bye. Yeah. I also, though, it. you should be filming Mia. You need a job because you're leaving your husband. That's true. On Watch What Happens Live, Ashley Darby said she thinks she'll be married to this new guy in the next year. And also, the rapper they were referring to, I think she said was Flo Rida. <laughs> no, so what? if you if you watch with your captions on, it said little uh Lil Z, Lil Lil, Lil Z, YG, Lil Uzi, Lil, oh, Lil Uzi Bird. Yeah, yeah. If you watch with your <laughs> captions, it listed him. But then I saw on Reddit that it said maybe it was Flo Rida, which I could see Flo Rida over Lil Uzi Bird, so do you know who Lil, Lil Uzi Bird is? Yeah, I googled him. <laughs> XO Tour Life spelled with a three and two L's. Anywho, um, she did say, "Well, first of all, he's not a rapper, <laughs> but Lil Uzi Vert is a rapper." So yeah. she was talking about something different. But they there that there was truth to that rumor. I think, anyways. Um, broke Chris made an appearance this week. And it's he funny because we said last week. I know. I was like, oh my god, it's Chris. Well, did you understand why after you saw him? He's fat and homeless looking now. He used to be attractive. Well, who knows? He couldn't be missing teeth, too. (laughs) What's going on with him? He's just sitting home drinking all day. It seems like it. He did not look good, and Giselle took notice. (laughs) She said, looks like he's just been eating. (laughs) Stress eating, she said. Stress eating. eating. I did not post that because I knew people would fucking troll it if I posted that, and I saw someone else did, and like people were trolling hard. They're like, she caused the stress in his life. I'm like, yeah, this is why they were like, oh my god, I don't need this energy. I can't believe she said that. Oh, imagine if he said that about her. I'm like, you guys, his wife calls her ankles and neck. I know, and she she calls Ashley forehead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah, please. It's just a body shaming cast. Get over it, I guess. You know. They're just gone are the days when you could make fun of people for what they look like. Why not? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm a fat shamer. I'm, I'm sorry. A, I'm back to the playground insults. <laughs> fuck you and your ugly hair. <laughs> you said fuck Fucking... you on the playground? Yeah. You did it? Oh my. No. And on the bus. Watch me. <laughs> he probably did. He probably did. He did. I was bad, but I was also, like, I was the kind of bad that, like, teachers liked me, and I was, like, good, too, and, like, funny, so I never got in trouble. Yeah. I was good, bad. we were bad. so bad at swimming, but, like, Mike loved us. Yeah. People loved us, so it was, like, but, hard like, to get in trouble. they would be, like, annoyed with us because we were fucking obnoxious. Yeah, that's true, too. But, like, funny. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. Like in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> um... So they go to this stupid weed party. I don't understand why Wendy invited NECA if she, like, doesn't want to, like... I I don't get why Wendy thinks that NECA owes her something at this point. I'm still not understanding her mind. Like, Wendy can go. She is so fucking DeLulu. It's not even funny. Like, her sense of self-importance is unreal. I said on um, a forum that she's just trying so hard to be like iconic and it's just, it's too much. You're trying it's too hard. To it. It's a flop. It's a flop. Didn't she say that with the class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Exactly. Darcy said you can't force it, and I feel like that's what she's trying to do, and it's yeah. just it's not working. It's not happening. You are not I the receive ground you. Down. I receive what you're saying. Oof. Shut the fuck up. I don't. That's Oof. a way of saying I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I receive you. Okay. Yeah. You can hear. Great. That's great. <laughs> Glad to know <laughs> that. Hands. Oh, if I was that guy, I would have lost it. I would have been like, you know what, bitch? Here's the thing. Fuck you. Fuck your fake weed party. Bye. Fuck your oregano. <laughs> um, did you guys love Gordon and Mia plotting their own divorce at lunch? I did. I did. Like, unsuspectingly. I just feel like Kyle Mauricio, take notes. Take notes. This is how you plot your own divorce on TV. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Just saying. And then everyone goes to NECA's for her packing party. Even Candace was there, but like there were no like real shots of her. But I saw, I noticed she was there. What the fuck was Ashley wearing to this pajama party? Did anyone see that? She had, like, she had like stripper clear stilettos on and like, I don't know, one of those like, um, what's like the pajama companies that make like the nice cotton PJs? Like that, but like. Then, like, a weird bra underneath it. Like, it just was, like, a lot. I don't know what was happening. It looked bad. that is why she should not be making clothing. No. She really should Hard stop. Like, just not everything is for everyone. I know. That's okay. Her wig choices are questionable, too. They don't go with her outfit sometimes, and they don't go, like, with her in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I was glad to see... Potomac kind of get back to its roots. I hope we get more of that. They have a cast trip coming up to Dominican Republic. So I'm excited mm-hmm. for that. Because I was like, is Austin going to be the trip? Because like that oh, will solidify the season for me as a nope. Yeah. It's a flop. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, iconic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Married to Medicine also kind of got back to its roots. This is the kind of like arguing, screaming shade fun that I enjoy I about Married that. to Medicine. Definitely got back to its roots. I was happy to see that because the first 13 episodes weren't really doing it for me either. But the gang heads to Hilton Head. And before they even leave, Heavenly says she's not coming because Curtis is upset. I felt bad for Jackie when she was crying on the phone, though. I did feel bad for her. But then they showed up four hours later. Like, why didn't you just get in the van? I think they just wanted to take the jet and not drive. Did they take a jet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, I wouldn't want to drive either. No, thank you. I don't know how far it is from there, but it seems far. South Carolina from Atlanta. Probably like five hours. Too far for me. Too far for me. Thank you, Siri. (laughs) (laughs) I died. Four and a half hours. That was such a like non like, like like an old person thing to do siri your oh. phone no i didn't i just talked into google yeah no, i don't know how to use siri although i do that, now that's google. an old person thing <laughs> you I don't die. know how to use siri i die i die i just ask google if i was in my kitchen i'd be like hey google so, well one thing about jackie is that she will deflect jackie does not like to own much of anything so when sweet tea came for her i feel like her delivery was a little aggressive but she wasn't wrong and jackie will not own shit that is who jack that's jackie through and through and it like she makes it seem so like sweet and charming and like you're the idiot that you like Mm -hmm. you almost like start to question your own sanity but that is true it's very true and also this whole like them making hilton had a thing is making it a thing like if you had just been like, cool, sounds fun, and like it would have never come up, but they turned it into a thing. Into a whole entire thing. Yeah. It's annoying. Very annoying. But yeah, I mean, they're going to be there probably for another couple of episodes. I like the couple's trip. It's my favorite part. Because I, I like the guys on Married to Medicine, too. Mm-hmm. The best. They're I love the you, Jean. Best. You guys, we got a new below deck this week. What did you think? It is off to a promising start after you, last season. You guys never watched Adventure, so you guys don't actually know Captain Carey. So what were your mm-hmm. thoughts? Um, he seems like a stickler. Like, he, he did a walk around the boat. I'd never seen that before. So, you know, he's... he's okay. I mean, he seems serious, so we'll see. I think he's so not a Captain Lee that it will stop people from comparing him to Captain Lee. Because they're very much their own brand of people. Mm-hmm. And I like that about him. You know, he's from the outback. He's probably the crocodile hunter or something. 
I was into it. I feel like it is a promising start. I think they've picked the right cast of characters. I think there's definitely going to be conflict and drama. I really liked that Barbie was so bougie. I loved that so about bougie. her. I'm like, why are you working? Like, why do you have a job? <laughs> you should be a charter guest. I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> they brought back um, Ben the Stew Slayer. So we'll see what happens there. I feel like they – I don't know why they brought him back. He was not – memorable other than like the fact that he like slept with two two stews in one season like that's not memorable to me but Hmm. okay frazier's back so when last season was the season that sandy had to step in for like a few episodes right Mm -hmm. yes and she did not like frazier (laughs) she didn't think he did a good job (laughs) so i'm like curious to see if he took any of sandy's feedback to heart he was funny on watch what happens live him and captain carrie were both on but frazier was funny he has, like, such a very dry, like, British humor. Oh, I love that dry British humor. I did miss Captain Lee. But what, what did we – we saw there – he's doing another show on, like, another network, right? It's doing on Oxygen. It's going to be a true crime show about, like, murder on the waters. Oh, my God. Oh, what does he have like to do with that? It? I think he's just going to be narrating it I would like be my that. assumption. It'll be, like, mm. interviewing talking heads, and he'll be like, and on the waters – bad things happen <laughs> i'm into it i'm gonna watch it um the bosun jared doesn't really seem to know how to bosun seems not, like he has no idea what he's doing not he's really like bosun you, out and you didn't even ask so i mean yeah it's not looking good for you buddy i wonder who gets fired i'm gonna say barbie and jared get fired this season i think i saw something that were like a lot of people oh. Get fired i like that i love so. a good firing season I love when they. I, I love when people can't house. make it ten charters. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and we already have identified the crybaby of the group, which is Cat. She's crying on day one, fucking crying. I pass that baton. I, I made a bunch of memes about like her and Kyle. Like we've already figured out who our crybaby is, and then it's Kyle's crying face in the corner, staring at her. <laughs> and then I'm like, she didn't like it. And she cried about it on our post. What did she say? <laughs> I have to look now because it was funny. I'm like, oh, my God, chill she out. She said, she was like, I'm just a girl. Hey, I'm just a girl. And she put like a bow and a teddy bear. I'm like, are you a baby? <laughs> well, it's a TikTok trend where everyone's like, but I'm just a girl. Oh. So, yeah. Chewy. Mm, very chewy. <laughs> I guess you have to be on the old talk. Trend. You gotta be on the yeah, talk for that. Trendy. Old ticker talk. Well, it's a promising start. More promising than... Low deck med, which they couldn't even get a reunion. It was so bad. So I hope that one Thank God. goes into hiatus for a little bit. Thank God for small favors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard you that before. Heard that? What does that mean? No. You guys never heard that? No. no. What Did does that mean? Up? No, it must be an Irish Catholic thing. I don't know. Thank God for small favors. Oh. Like he's doing us a favor. Thank you, God. Interesting. Yeah, a little thing. Okay. I say that regularly. I like that. Okay. I like that. Let's talk pump rules, shall we? Yes. Really got to know <laughs> Anne this week. Everyone is like, justice I, for I Anne. Know. I want her job. Are you kidding me? I, you know the gossip she gets? If you're just what starting out, you definitely want Anne's job. For sure. Yeah. Anne is going to get picked up in a second after this series. She's going to be like, who was the one on the, that ended up being on, um, God, what's that movie with? Um, oh, The Devil Wears Prada? No, Laura, yeah. Laura Lynn is the girl, but the movie she was in was where they're, in, they're all in the camper oh, with Jennifer Aniston. I know. Oh, RV, RV. No. Um, oh, no, where they go to get the drugs. Meet the Millers. Yeah, Meet the Millers. Yeah. Laura Lynn's in Meet the yeah. Millers. <laughs> That's who Literally Anne's going to be. Husband. Anne's gonna be in Meet the Millers too. I'm gonna Meet the need Joneses. Anne on Watch What Happens Live. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. what I'm gonna need. Maybe they'll get her to bartend. That would be great. Ooh. She's not like cool enough to be a guest. You have to be kind of famous, I think. But I posted a meme for us this week, and I'm like, what is what is Anne's job responsibilities? Wrong answer. Jo- What's Anne's job description? Wrong answers only. I just want to read you what people said. <laughs> Failed couples counselor, worm handler, worm farmer. <laughs> Special operative in dodging landmines, scum cleaner, penis flute tuner. That was me. (laughs) (laughs) Being team Ariana, being awkward. I don't know, but she must have had been terrible in her previous life to end up in this shit. (laughs) Mustache wrangler, brown noser, waitress. And I just want to say that, Amanda, your brother just wrote, hi. 
in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, Thanks, like, Tommy. Watch, he's like, I never watch Bravo, but I vote on every single he one does. of does. I like all your posts because, you know, that's what gets you engagement. So, like, he is our second I, number Thank one you, fan. Tommy. We, we appreciate your it. support. We appreciate it. He's like, I have no idea what I'm voting for, but I just vote. I appreciate it. He just wrote, hi, in the box. <laughs> in the comment box. <laughs> I love that. I could die. <laughs> okay. The big question I have is, should Tom be allowed to throw a party at his own house? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, the politically correct answer is yes, but fuck that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, like, he he can. She doesn't have to, like, tolerate it. She doesn't have to be nice about it, I guess. Yeah. And maybe that's well, just the thing. She's not being nice about it. Yeah, no, she's definitely not. She's definitely Do you believe that he's paying all the bills? Okay, so I actually think that, yeah, I feel like she wants him out so bad she probably stopped paying the bills. She's making it miserable for him. And and it's like if they're in his name or both of their names and she just decides not to pay, like someone has to. So I actually did believe that, even though he was doing that whole like, dude, like she's not even like paying the bills, dude. But just like it. It's been like so hard. Can't even imagine. Yeah, I do believe it. Um, I, so I think I said in our group text, like, okay, we finally moved up to like April, 2023 when pump closed. Like I've seen all of these pictures. I've seen all of these videos. Someone we went to high school with was at the pump closing and like sent us a bunch of videos, which was really nice of her. Like I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I've seen those outfits that Sheena and Lala were wearing, which did you guys not immediately think Romy and Michelle when they came, when they were wearing those outfits? Like that was my immediate thought. It's just like. The dancing. The dancing. I also posted that on our account. It's Romy and Michelle dancing next to them. And someone wrote on it, Sheena's the inventor of post-its. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good movie. Um, I did not need a call back to Sheena's music video. Could have lived no. forever without that. For sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. And I could also have lived forever without Billy Leach returning. Fucking Billy Leach. What? I just hate her. She brings nothing. She doesn't bring anything. No, and you're like not even allowed to hate on her because she makes everything a trans issue. But I'm like, no, I just hate you. You are such (laughs) a leech. Literally. This is not a trans issue. This is a you issue. Yeah. You're allowed to not like people. Thank you. Thank you. Billy Leech. That is what I will refer to her from now on for the remainder of days. Billy Leech. I even changed... Her little like Chiron with her name, Billy Lee, Tom's friend, to Billy Leach. And I wrote a CH at the end of it. I like that. I don't need her. And also, don't you remember that when she was posting pictures of all the cakes from the birthday? And like then they were going mm-hmm. after Sweet Baby Jane's and like that whole thing. And they even, it was a subtle dig, but they did try to dig at Sweet Baby Jane's in the scene too. Tom was like, oh, does it say Sandoval's a liar on it? That's sweet. That was sweet baby Jane's cake. <laughs> and one that they just closed recently and like Billy Lee and Tom Sandoval went after them about like, you deserve to close like blah, blah, blah. Like bakery should not be like making fun of people. <laughs> like who cares what a fucking bakery you makes fun of people? You imagined that a fucking bakery is like, what does it for you? Like I know. that's what sends you over the edge. <laughs> and then like, <laughs> oh. poor sweet baby Jane's. They were really, I reposted them. They were really nice about it, actually. So there. Why did James go to the party? Filming. Film. Why did Ali sit in the there. car to go to the party? Filming. Girl code. No. Yeah. She was fil- like, it's filming. All filming. Like, I, didn't, I don't even know what he thought he was going to get out of that. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Yeah. He just wanted to piss on a bush, you know? That's Ariana's bush, too. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like Ali. I'm, in, I'm team Ali. I like her. In the yeah, she's fun. Astrologist to the stars. I like that. Oh God. Well, um, let me just say, Tom Schwartz is pissing me off. I already told you guys, but like him being like, when Tom was like, "You're gonna come to my birthday party," he's like, "I'm gonna do what's best for me." First of all, you can't be a ride or die and then get mad when people are calling you out on the internet and not liking you. Like, you either be there for your friend or you're a piece of trash. I thought that he's a people pleaser. I thought it was refreshing for him to say, like, I'm going to do what's best for me in response to something Sandoval said. Yeah. 
Because he never that's says like stuff like that. That's like his best friend. That's like his best friend. It doesn't matter what your best friend does. You support them. Like, you mean, you hid the lie for a hundred months. So don't be mad now that mm-hmm. it came back to get you. Mm-hmm. But I don't think Sandoval treats Schwartz like a best friend. No. I think okay. Schwartz okay. treats Sandoval like one, but right. it's okay. not always reciprocated. It's got to okay. be ride or die in return, you know? Okay. okay. Can't be a one side. It's like it's just kind of like Heather Gay was like ride or die for Jen Shaw, but like definitely not reciprocated. And so now she's okay. like, "Fuck you, you're in jail, bitch." Bye. No, I get that. I get that. Um, I'm glad we could all talk about that calmly. No, I, I we get, worked I that like out. I'm glad we worked yeah. that out. <laughs> um, <laughs> Beverly Hills bored me this week. Same. I was have I was like yeah. struggling to watch. Oh, I was like doing a million different things. And usually, like a classic Beverly Hills, like I'm fine. I can watch it. It's entertaining yeah. enough. But I am bored. I want to leave Spain. I'm glad they're done with it. I'm over Merce, and then Merce gets all over everyone's clothes, which is gross. Yeah, that was not great. <laughs> I mean, Erica was very Erica, letting everyone know that she is not happy with them still for not I mean, supporting what did her. What she expect? I, I don't know. I, don't know. I should. I feel like she has a point. It's just like it was hard to support her when she was being so like ruthless. But if it's your friend, then you just like support them, you know, and then like let the chips fall where they may. I feel like Salt Lake is a perfect example of that. If Jen's telling them that she's innocent, everyone supported her until she was not proven innocent. Okay. Okay. So they do the flamingo dancing. Boring. And then... We get a scene at the end with Kyle and Dreet where Kyle finally starts to kind of open up about whatever the hell is she's pretending to do in her marriage. I don't she know. She says a lot, but nothing at all. Yeah. Mo works a lot. Okay, welcome to most families. I know. I mean, you sat there and say, I don't pay any bills. I just sign stuff. Well, okay, he's supporting your outrageous shopping habits, so chill. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Well... Yeah, it was a snore for me, but Miami definitely picked me back up. Came in so strong. <laughs> right, so good. right from the chaotic gondola ride. <laughs> they said, Let fuck a dinner. You. Fuck a chaotic dinner. Let's do it on the gondola. The first five minutes, I literally had like tears coming out of my eyes. Like it just did when you thought it was going to be over, something else happened. <laughs> Something else pops up on the river. I mean, the mariachi when, band. When the mariachi band came. I was literally cackling. They're like, "No, no, Gertie doesn't feel good." Then she starts vomiting. All of it, like even, oh. and I, I mean, I obviously felt bad for Julia, but it's just like the the amount of sobbing that was going on. It was like too much. It was way too much. I don't want to like laugh, but like she was sobbing. Alexia was sobbing. Like, oh my god. Before Gertie got sick, she was sobbing. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was wild. It was good, though. And That's then the Lisa was looking around. Where's my lip gloss? Has anyone seen my Where's lip I gloss? Yeah. The then wish she was, like, in the cooler looking for something to drink <laughs> on the way off. She was looking for her lip gloss in the cooler. <laughs> I don't know. So funny. It was so funny. It was good. That, just the first 10 minutes was, like, hysterical yeah. to me. Yeah. That, like, even, like, Gertie, like, yelling to Russell on the phone. I want to see Russell! Get him on the phone! (laughs) It was, like, all a lot. It was a lot. Um, The group, collectively, is very over Lisa. And I'm, I love Lisa Hoxine. I'm, like, kind of over her, too. Honestly. I don't blame him. She's not doing herself any favors. I mean, what he said is, she's right, you're a privileged, and you have no idea. You married for money. And it's, I, do you know, I didn't know Kiki had two kids. I didn't either until, she, and one of them's named Summer. Me Did either. you hear her? I saw that. I didn't know that was her daughter. I thought it was like her niece or something. And then they went to the next. I family. knew she had a she child. Had, I knew she had a son. I didn't know she had two kids though. Yeah. I'm like, and who's watching like, What's that? my son's name? I'm like. I didn't even it's, know it is true though. No one, asked, like no one asked. She's like just, a, she's like the good times friend. But, but with that being said, if you're never the person that shares anything about yourself and you just put on a, like a show that you don't care that people know stuff about you who's gonna ask exactly you know and i feel like with all of these women like no one really like asks about each other they all just like talk about themselves mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's kind of housewives no one really yeah, cares exactly. about exactly <laughs> exactly you have to make it like you have to make your business the show or else it's not gonna be yeah um are we gonna talk about adriana lipstick 
What is there to say? It was like, that was, I expected more. Like you had a whole, like you were rehearsing. Like it was bad. If you're going to lip sync, (laughs) fine. But just like, make sure that you're on key. Like it just was, it wasn't great, but good for her. That's a lot. It wouldn't have been so bad if she didn't come out and start talking because like the contrast between her speaking voice and then they started playing the track and you're like that is not the same person uh, i mean i think everyone lip syncs maybe not taylor swift because i've watched videos of her perform and i'm not a taylor swift fan just put that in there whoa but but i mean i think whoa. both people lip sync i'm not a taylor swift fan either are we not allowed to say that I can't. No, I am. Just, I'm whatever the opposite of a Swifty is. Yeah, a sw- I'm a Swafty. Not into it. <laughs> a Twasty. <laughs> I can like. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, the videos of her at the Grammy. Ugh. Yeah, I don't mind her. Snubbing, don't snubbing her. Celine. Wow. Bye. Snubbing I, Celine. Who I do you I don't think love you her? Are. Who I don't do you hate think her? You are. If you if you're saying you don't love her, you might as well love her. You have to hate her if you want to be in this clique. <laughs> well, then I guess I'm out. You're out, bitch. Don't bother me. We're a duet. We're You're a out, duet. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Two bougie bravo bitches. <laughs> you can walk uh, home, uh, bitches. Well, I'm already home, bitch. Anywho, I want to give Kiki a mojito because we learned more about her. So give her a mojito. And she brought um, it. I'd just like to add, I still don't know her son's name. Yeah, we didn't learn. She never told us. We didn't learn that, did we? I'd like to know, though. I would like to yeah. know. Anyways, that's it for the shows of the week. That was a lot. Any more? That's a lot of shows. Any more Bravo yeah. thoughts? I was, I was like happy to hear that Andy's a power top. On oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't entirely <laughs> surprised, but I was happy to hear it. Never heard of a blouse before. Me dying. Yeah, I never heard of that before. Actually, <laughs> I like that. Well, I said I was like, I think I know a lot of things, and I've never heard this term before. What could that mean? <laughs> and then I fucking like in tears. Well, I liked it. Anywho, I think that's all we got. I'm pumped for traders. We have Southern Hospitality tonight as well. If you like what you heard here, you can follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Um, you can also follow us on our socials. We are on Instagram at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on Threads at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on TikTok at Bougie Bravo Bitches, on Twitter at Bougie Bravo Bees. Please visit one of those to say hi to and happy birthday to Darcy tomorrow. And <laughs> we have a Facebook group. We also have a YouTube channel. That's it, bitch. <laughs>